Did the old prophets actually meet angels on top of mountains? Or were they highly intelligent beings from a galaxy far, far away? Welcome to UFOlogy, where we explore the truth about alien life. Because let's face it, we're not alone, and the evidence is everywhere. Today, we will be investigating a long-standing conspiracy theory, that is, whether aliens had a hand in building one of the architectural wonders of the ancient world, the pyramids. There are loads of mysterious sites in this world, which people claim were built by aliens, with the pyramids ranking amongst them. Ever wondered if there is any validity to these claims? Well, let's dive right in and find out. A pyramid's not an easy thing to build. If you've ever read up on the pyramids of Egypt, or even seen them up close, you'll realize they're an engineering marvel, especially for the time they were built. Take the Great Pyramid, for example. It's the largest of Giza three pyramids, and one of the seven wonders of the world. The Great Pyramid stands nearly 500 feet tall, is 756 feet long on each side, and is made up of more than 2.3 million stones. Each stone weighs nearly three tons each. That adds up to over 6.5 million tons. Even with modern construction equipment, something like Pharaoh Khufu's pyramid is a challenge to build and maintain, let alone with the limited technology they had back then. Astronomical Calculations And that's not the only thing mind-blowing about the Giza pyramids. The ancient Egyptians somehow managed to align the shifts in the pyramids with an astronomical configuration of the three largest stars in Orion's belt perfectly. Could it have been a coincidence? Perhaps, but it could also be the work of builders with technology advanced enough to map out the calculations and layout necessary for this. It's also interesting to note that the Giza pyramids are very well preserved. They're in way better shape than other Egyptian pyramids, even some built centuries later, despite the amount of effort spent on preserving those other pyramids over the past few centuries. Akhenaten, man or extraterrestrial? Another potential clue hitting at the pyramids being extraterrestrial in origin is the strange appearance of Pharaoh Akhenaten. Akhenaten was known for being a highly controversial ruler who outlawed the polytheistic faith of Egypt in favor of a monotheistic son, worship of the god Aten. Who's to say Akhenaten couldn't have been a supervisor of sorts sent down to guide the people of Egypt? After all, it made little sense for him to outlaw the popular religion of the day and cause unrest alongside harming his power, unless he's been receiving orders from a higher source. Another reason for speculation around him being an extraterrestrial, aside from his controversy, is that his appearance is depicted in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and statues is odd. Unlike other pharaohs, Akhenaten is shown with an elongated skull, long neck, large midsection, and breasts. The stereotypical Western depiction of aliens often contains these features, but some historians also argue that his odd appearance could have been attributed to a genetic disorder like Marfan syndrome, or even Akhenaten being transgender. How do you lift blocks? Returning to the topic of building the pyramids, one has to wonder how the ancient Egyptians even managed to lift those massive blocks of stone up steep inclines. They certainly didn't have forklifts back then, or even cranes. Some Egyptologists theorize it has done via a system of pulleys and ramps, but others, like Roger Larson, have tested this and found that it would take a significant amount of human effort just for one block, even with a system of that sort in place. Multiply that by the amount of blocks for each pyramid, times three, and it starts to seem a bit implausible. Besides, as Larson claims, an 8% incline ramp that reached the top of the Great Pyramid would need to be more than a mile long. This would make its volume exceed that of the pyramid itself. Could it have been done? Certainly, but whether it be practical remains uncertain, which of course further fuels the speculation. Perhaps the builders had some outside help. The speed of light. And that's not all. Another interesting fact that seems to support this theory is that the geographic coordinates of the Great Pyramid seemingly match the value of the speed of light. 
According to researcher Manu Saifsada, quoted in the Daily Star, the speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second, and the geographic coordinates for the Great Pyramid are 29.979-2458 degrees north. Elon Musk agrees. However, we only managed to record the speed of light with this precision in 1950. That's thousands of years after the pyramids were built. It's also worth noting that traveling at light speed is a common method proposed to travel through time. Could these aliens have been from the far future? No one knows for sure. Even Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, seems to support the ancient aliens theory. He tweeted on the 31st of July, 2020, aliens built the pyramids, ob, receiving more than half a million likes on Twitter. However, this was disputed by Egypt's International Cooperation Minister, who invited him to visit and see for himself that its famous pyramids were not built by aliens. According to her, seeing the tombs of the pyramid builders discovered in 1990 would be enough proof. Again, these may not have been the only builders. Considering the monumental effort involved in the pyramids, as of now, we don't have the full picture. In any case, the claims that aliens were involved are compelling. The evidence is undeniable, so who's to say for sure? The answer may lie in the mundane, with huge populations of slaves and massive coordinated efforts to craft these wonders, or possibly ramps all over the place. Or maybe there were aliens helping the process along. Either way, the pyramids are a marvel to behold. Thanks for watching that video. Make sure to like and comment below if you believe any of the theories that aliens built the pyramids. And be sure to tune in next week. We'll be looking at famous Bermuda Triangle disappearances and whether aliens had anything to do with it.